how many levels into this are we? We're like on the fifth level, right? Yes, we are. Yep. Or wait, no. Yep. yep. Level five. Jedi Destiny. Five. Such a cool title. Jedi Destiny. As the battle between Imperial and Rebel forces rages around the second Death Star, Luke Skywalker confronts Darth Vader, his father, once Anakin Skywalker. Still doesn't like saying though. From boy slave on Tatooine to hero of the Clone Wars to Sith Lord feared throughout the galaxy, Anakin Skywalker's path has been dark indeed. In front of Emperor Palpatine, his villainous master Vader must now face his son and reclaim his fate. In front of Joe Biden. What? Have you seen like the comparison shots of Joe Biden and uh, Sheep Palpatine? I don't think I want to. They look really similar if you look at <laughs> oh them God. side to side. I'm not going to make jokes about that. This makes cause... me want to put a black robe on him, though. Because <laughs> people will probably get really mad at me if I made jokes about that. Of course. The last thing I want to do in these people... videos is get political. I mean, it's not about his campaign performance. It's just about his appearance, to be fair. I guess. But still, I think even people get offended by even that. Even then, people will get upset. Yeah, exactly. But that's okay. That's why we'll keep it brief and talk about... Um, Gray Man! Yeah. Why is his skin so discolored? It's kind of interesting that in this game, they never reveal that Chancellor Palpatine and the Emperor are two set or the same person. Yeah, they just kind of went along with it. Yeah. Or it's they just kind of assumed you knew. Or actually, no, I just realized they show uh, Palpatine with his gray skin in the uh, with uh, Count Dooku, and that was before... Before he well, yeah. uses lightning on Mace Windu. Exactly, yeah. That, that is kind of weird when you think about it. Yeah. I'm too weak. Yeah, because please, that's please when Please, don't kill me. That's when he, uh, yeah. <laughs> Help me, Anakin. Help I, me. I told you it would come to this. The Jedi are taking over. Help me out here. Only if I feel like it. POWER! Ah! Oh my god. Right, he, he sounds hilarious in this game. He does. Ah! His death sound is the best. Yeah. yeah. It is, his laughing is also really good. Alright, we have new enemies. His laughing the just royal, comes out of nowhere. The Royal Guards. You I can't gotta, really use your lightsaber normally on these guys. You have I to either ground pound, them. or with Darth Vader, you can force choke them. Can. It's also, yeah, you get to play as a dark side Sith in this level. So you can use the red sparkly objects for the first time in the story level. Name? What? Red spark the sparkly objects. I doubt it. Imagine if it is, though. You have to do it really quick, though. I can see that, yeah. They deactivate very, very quickly. Yes! Unless you're a pro, we get the red brick. Unless you're a pro like me. Exactly. Ha ha! We've done it. Woohoo! All right, let's see. Have you seen the uh, set they made about this? They've made a, quite a few of them. The just recent direct consumer one. Yes. Isn't it like a hundred dollars? Yeah, it is. And it's it's not. It should be a hundred dollars to be honest. No Lego set nowadays should be as expensive as they are. No, prices have gone up a lot. Yeah. Especially for the Sonic the Hedgehog wave they just announced. Oh, yeah. Dude, those things are expensive. Of course, I'm probably going to buy them regardless, but at the <laughs> same time, it's like... Knowing you, yeah. I mean, I have an entire account dedicated to it, so yeah. Yeah. Crap. Let's see, do you think they'll Crap. have, a, like, a Go Knuckles ahead, figure for that? I'm sure they will eventually. Yeah. There's one more set they haven't revealed yet, and... It might be at the Knuckles not one. Not officially, anyways. I was hoping it would did be... They, what, did they leak it already? Uh, it leaked. It was in the trailer, but they haven't probably Oh, it's the, it's the Robotnik yeah, robot, the isn't it? the Death Egg Robot. The Death Egg Robot. I call it the Death Egg Robot. Because yeah. it wasn't a Death Egg it. stage, right? And was it Sonic 3 or 2? Uh, it was Sonic 2 when they actually had the Death Egg Robot. But it was Sonic 3 when they just had the Dr. Eggman Robot. That sentence made no sense. That's just whenever... I don't know what they actually officially call it, but yeah. Because he wasn't referred to as Egg... Well, uh, wasn't he always referred to as Eggman in Japan? I think so, but... It was a peach situation, right? Where they read... Princess Toadstool? Yeah. 
where she was always known as Peach in Japan, but it was until later, until North America knew her as Peach. Can you come up here? That is quite odd. Hang on. I'm trying to... How do I get back up there? Uh... That's how. You just this teleport. <laughs> cool. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he sounds like a crow. Kind of, yeah. Ah! Also, by the way, this guy has 18 hearts. Ah! Ah! All right. But yeah, they just uh, they just made the uh, they announced the song sets recently. And one of them is Eggman's Robot. I was really hoping for Sky Sanctuary, to be honest. Okay. Because I do love, like, the architecture of, like, where Knuckles comes from and stuff. Uh -huh. Sky Sanctuary, I absolutely love the way it looks in the games. Wow, that, that guy just went flying. Uh, he's definitely... Oh, jeez. I did not like that. We clipped through this uh, room over there. We clipped through the camera. Yo. All right. <laughs> Get over here, Emperor. Ah! But so yeah, since they've got that final set that they haven't revealed yet, I don't know exactly what it is, but a part of me is thinking that it's going to be... that it's going to have... or I mean, they have... I'm not saying this right. It's leaked, they just haven't officially shown it off yet. But I have a feeling that it's probably... I wouldn't call it a leak, I think it's just a tease. I don't think that they... Because they, I'm sure they purposely showed it in the background yeah. just to, like, foreshadow. But the thing is, I don't think that there are going to be any other special minifigures in it. Knowing really? Lego, they're probably just going to throw another Sonic in there. Although, I will say, I am... I do like the uh, situation they've got going with Sonic. They oh. have Sonic with two different facial designs, actually. Oh, yeah, they do. Because they've got the normal, normal like dimensions looking Sonic, which mm -hmm. I like just because like default Sonic. Yeah. And he actually has different coloring and different like oh, stomach yeah. circle shape than the original one. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> to hear Empress Geller. Ooh. <laughs> it's amazing. Ten yeah. out of ten voice acting. Absolutely. But yeah, they they probably just got a random person at Traveler's Tales to do that voice. Ah! <laughs> the helmet just disappeared halfway as it he did. took it off. That's weird. He, he doesn't have the wrinkles on the other side of his face like he should. He still has his eyebrows. <laughs> they CGI'd them out of the special edition, I think. Really? Yeah. Why? What's the point? I guess to keep continuity with Revenge of the, Revenge of the Sith. His eyebrows burned off. Yeah. Oh, Disney, you freaking lunatics. It wasn't, it wasn't Disney that did it, though. Lucas. Yeah, George Lucas. Oh, Lucas, you freaking Score lunatics. times ten! Yes! Forget, forget double score. We got score times ten. Yeah. But, uh... In Lego Star Wars 2, that extra cost 30 million. Really? Yeah. Well, geez. We didn't even get true Jedi in this level. We, we are not true Jedi slash Siths. Because I am a Sith, so I can't be a true Jedi. Well, I guess you are a Jedi now, because you've been redeemed. Because you, you killed the person that seduced you to the dark side. I actually found a meme of, like, <laughs> the what dark side seduces people or something like that. Oh, no. And it's got no. like, the Palpatine with sexy legs photoshopped on. Why? With, like, fishnet, <laughs> fishnets on the legs. Editor, do not show an image of that. Editor, show that. It's funny. All right, anyways. Chapter 6, Into the Death Star. Oh, with boy. help from the Ewoks, the Rebels have finally managed to destroy the Death Star shield generator on Endor. In the sky above, the Rebel fleet has come under the intense, under intense fire from Imperial craft in the Death Star itself. Many ships have been destroyed. But General Lando Calrissian is now able to lead the final assault on the Empire's ultimate weapon and pilot the Millennium Falcon deep into its dark heart. Right. Get ready for... <laughs> See, I told you. That's funny. Look at him! Oh. Get that away from me. It's Admiral Akbar. It's in your head now. You're welcome. Oh my god. 
And Lando um, Calrissian in another outfit. He had a weird head mold back then. It wasn't even a... It was a head mold made specifically for piece. this game. Yeah, it wasn't even an actual piece No, not game. until 2009. Oh, look at those giant magnified bricks. Yeah. Alright. Final level. Get ready. Let's do this. Alright. Oh, so we, yeah. So we get the same kind of Star Destroyer area scene in um, Falcon Flight. Yeah, which, I was gonna say, you know how much we love that level. This is just about the same as a, uh, yeah, Falcon Flight. Alright, the only way to get um, torpedoes. torpedoes is by destroying specifically tied bombers. I love it, just TIE Fighter in general noises, just yeah, in general, like, TIE Crafts. Yeah. What's up the TIE Fighter blaster sound in Toy Story? I don't... maybe. And in fact, I think Toy Story had a bunch of uh, Star Wars sounds. It basically like um, the plot of Star Wars for... Darth Vader's Blaster's breathing movie. was heard in Toy Story 2. It was! No, it was, it was in both Toy Stories, I think. Really? Was it? I think it was. I, think it was, I thought it was just in the second one. Like the exact was, Darth Vader breathing. Yeah, scene. it was whenever Buzz uh, lands on that planet in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. They also used the, the Tie Fighter scene. blaster sound, and I think both films. They did. I remember that. Yeah. I love just Tie Fighter noises in general, though. They used it in the Buzz Lightyear commercial in the first film. The flying noise, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Already, jeez. I know. It's pretty quick. Oh, that guy's head just disconnected. <laughs> Whoa. He is no longer alive. No. Man. Neon. No, these these guys just so keep dying. Freaking yeah. Admiral Akbar died in The Last Jedi? Yeah. I forgot about that. That's why the movie was so bad. Yeah, it's cause because they killed they Admiral killed Akbar. Yeah. He warned us. It was a trap. Rise of Skywalker is a trap! It was a trap. Mark Hamill was right. Yeah. Or no, was it Harrison Ford that said he hated Star Wars or something? Um, I think it was both. One of them said that, yeah, I was going to say, at least one of them said that they basically, like, hated the franchise after a while. I think it was Harrison, actually. Because it was the way... I think Although, it was I think Harrison like, always hated Star Wars. Really? Yeah, he didn't... He originally um, wasn't was kind of hesitant to sign to sign up for both Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Wow. Yeah. That's why they froze him in Carbonite in Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> it's so that in case he didn't uh, in case he didn't sign up to be in a Return of the Jedi, they would have just had him permanently frozen in Carbonite. <laughs> it's just like Gina Carano's character whenever they fired her from the Mandalorian. Oh yeah. What did they do with her? Uh, she made uh, Disney a little mad with a tweet. No, I mean, like, what did they do with her in the, uh, in the, in the show? Uh, okay, so, basically... Did they freeze her in Carbonite? No, they just said that she was in some different, uh, district protecting the land or whatever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. They didn't, they didn't kill her off Mod Flanders style in The Simpsons? Unfortunately, no. Because uh, they didn't have her voice actress for just a couple seasons, so it was like, so they were like, let's kill the character off. <laughs> and then she came back on the show. So right. they, they only had her in like flashbacks and as a ghost. Gotta love how the X-Wing splits into multiple pieces when it dies. Yeah. The Falcon is just one big piece. Is it? Yeah, just watch whenever you die next time. Okay. Yeah, if you die again, just watch. Four out of time. Or right. roll back the footage. Uh, all right. Oh boy, we're dying. No, we're not. We're fine. Okay, no, never mind. We are dying. Yeah. Thanks, friendly fire. Yeah, You're I told best. you. Did you see the piece right there? Yeah. It was just all one piece. That's really funny. All right. If only that was how the. These ones are only open for a limited amount of time. They throw rockets at you. If only that's how the real Lego Millennium Falcon was. Just one piece. So it doesn't you just throw it, and it's just the, exactly the same. Exactly. Doesn't break apart. <laughs> Maybe that's how the Death Star is when it's broken. Unlike, uh, was it Spider-Man: Homecoming? 
Oh yeah, where, I remember where, that. He dropped where it. Ned threw the Death Star. He just dropped it. Ow. Yeah. Freaking. To think, for the production of that film, they had to build an entire Death Star just to drop it in one scene. And I'm pretty sure they said there were multiple takes of that scene, too. That would make sense. Alright. So now, this is the final section of the level, and of the game's story mode. Yeah. Where, we're, where the Death Star has been blown up. We gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta get the mini kick canisters, too. Remember that. The, like, two ones that are available, anyways. I think so, yeah. But, the Millennium Falcon has auto-aim, so we should be good. Does the X-Wing have auto-aim? No. Only the, so. only the Falcon. Ridiculous. Honestly. My favorite. We got another one! Hey, I was right. There might be three. I'm not sure. Also, we don't have true Jedi. Oh, well. We're not playing as Jedis anyways. Unless I'm Luke, because you're Lando. No, because Luke's in the Death Star right now, confronting Palpatine. Because Luke is in the Death Star, about to die. There was three, a third okay. one. And true Jedi! Hey, look at us. Amazing. And we are now- We're so good at this. What? Nia Num's minifigure is so gross to me. Yeah. What did you say? I said we're so good at this. Oh. I thought you said Ahsoka did this. <laughs> no. Ahsoka did not do this because Ahsoka was... Still alive at the point. Not in this. <laughs> she was still alive though, according to Mandalorian. She was uh, still alive during the event. However that works. And she was also still alive in a... Uh, in a... Uh, Clone Wars at the end. This was after Clone Wars though, that's the thing. Yeah, I know. But she survived Order 66 because that's true. Uh, didn't Rex's inhibitor chip malfunction or something? Maybe? I I haven't watched that far into the show. We got True Jedi though. Imagine that one clone trooper when Order 66. Clone trooper? That, when, that one clone trooper in like the desert or whatever whenever it whenever Order 66 happened, he was just like, "Okay, I guess the Jedi are bad now." Yeah. What do I do with this information? By the way, we got eight mini kit canisters. Another tie bomber. I think it's tie advanced, actually. Tie advanced. We have 56 out of 160 gold bricks. There's so many different. Finish story. There's so many different tie crafts. Yeah, there's a lot. And they all have the same general design cockpit in the middle, two wings on the side. All right. We get. Hey, look, it's Anakin. He woke up. He woke up from his slumber. Imagine if, uh, if, uh, in the scene with the Force Ghosts in, in the original movie, imagine if the younglings had shown up. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, we got like, Ewoks celebrating. Even the original cut of the movie, there's just a bunch of younglings there. The audience is just gonna be like, are what, are they, what are they doing here? Who they weren't in the rest kids? of the film. And then Revenge of the Sith comes out. That would have been really fun. I mean, oh. this had... The special edition of Return of the Jedi had Naboo before Phantom Menace came out. The, the, we saw free! The special edition also had uh, Hayden Christensen as Anakin, right? Yes, before Revenge of the Sith came out. Yeah. Which is really funny. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was the story mode of Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. We'll probably look at the credits at the very end of the game, but we are now 38.7% into the game. Woo! We still have a lot more to go through. Yes, we do. And we've already completed it. There's Luke and his dark profile pic. Yeah. Profile pic. That's where you're going to name it? Yeah. All right. His dark profile pic for his uh, dating. <laughs> his sister is the first to answer the call. Oh, God. Let's not go there. Let's go to episode one, The Phantom Menace. We'll go back to it so that we can cover the free play okay, of Star Wars episode, or of episode one, The Phantom Menace. I'll see you all there. Goodbye. What's Darth Vader impatient about? Do you see him? He See him tapping his foot? He thinks he's sunk the hedgehog. Yeah. I'm out of here. He's got a hog sona. I don't don't say that. Sonic CD. Please.